Hi, I'm not a hater either. I like to have friendly conversations. Um, however, the theme of this one is going to have to be your final statement that you have to go because of your candy cane nails. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware of the seven deadly sins, but vanity is one of them. Um, I don't think Jesus cares what kind of candy cane or whatever crap you put on yourself. Makeup, all the stuff. Just to look, what, pretty? Jesus doesn't care. Um, well, here I go. I don't know if there was a Jesus. I have seen very little evidence of it. I think he had a great message. And I wish you would follow it. If, um, I'm kind of confused if you're a Mormon or not, though, because you say you make videos for Mormons and atheists. And that the atheists shouldn't watch, which is really confusing. Anyways, um... But how can you sit there and talk about such frivolous things like makeup and your nails and what kind they are? I'm assuming you made this near Christmas, which is supposed to be Jesus' birthday. And the way you guys celebrate his birthday, if he was a real person and he still can is cognitive of what's going on down here, seriously, he would be in the malls pushing over the registers if he could, just like he was in the temple pushing over all the corrupt money lotters. So, uh, you guys, if you think atheism make you angry, um, hypocritical Christians really make me angry. Um, gosh, you made so many other points. Let me see, I had to write them down. Oh, you said you went away from God, but isn't God always with you? How can you go away from God? He's here, everywhere, right? Isn't that how the mythology goes? I mean, I did go to Catholic school for way too long, so I... Yeah, don't try to, like, do a Bible uh, quiz game on me. I'll win. Anyways, um, yeah, so God's always with you, so he was there when you were drinking and I don't know what else. Um, you also said you don't know if you would be a good person if you weren't a Christian, or if you're an atheist, because you're not an atheist, but that you wouldn't kill anybody, but how do you know that? Um, you say you do it for the glory of God. So, my question is, do you get a thought in your head about harming somebody or doing wrong and then think, oh no, with the glory of God, I can't do that? That's your answer right there. If you have to think that to not do something wrong, then yes, if you're an atheist, you'd be a very bad person. Okay? Sorry to break it to you. Um... See, yeah. Hate. Hate. Oh, yeah. Um, you're hating on haters. Jesus doesn't hate. And it, we're going on um, what's been written about Jesus, not factual, actual events. I mean, you have played the telephone game, I imagine. Um, by the time it gets around the circle, it, it says nothing like it was. The Bible was written 200 years after he supposedly was alive. If you do do research, check out the Dead Sea Scrolls. And yeah, that's another thing. You say we shouldn't watch um, some crazy video you're talking about and hate on it because it's not meant for us. However, how are we supposed to research other beliefs? Okay, so um, as friendly as I can put this, um, I think you should stay indoors as much as possible, have very little interaction with humankind, stay off of YouTube, please, um, and educate yourself. I don't know what research you're doing, I don't know if you find them in the children's section of the bookstore, or if your church hands them out. Anyways, you have a great day and hopefully someday you will be enlightened. I really do wish that.